All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you guys can call me Touch Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Tell Me Why, the video game of the Backstreet Boys song. So this is chapter two of three. Uh, chapter one literally just came out last week, and like I said, at the end of chapter one, these things are coming out hot and heavy. We're we're at the halfway point now. So once again, I'll be posting this as one long video for your viewing pleasures. So if you appreciate that. As always, thumbs up are greatly appreciated, and let's jump right into it! Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long-gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Look at that smile in the background. Kind of reminds me of like the two wolf stories from the last game. Life is Strange, season three. So we found out that it was actually the daughter that ganked the mother at the end of the last episode. We were meant to believe that Tyler did it. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. She looked like she's about to have a mental breakdown. I've seen Without that look. A word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Doves? We goblins, fool? What a waste. How would your first instinct would be to grab the scissors? Thank you. 
Tell me why, though. So there's probably a beautiful song playing right now, but YouTube copyright these days. I would serenade you, but it would probably make your eardrums bleed. So let's just enjoy the slow-mo running into silence. I wonder, for some reason I just got like the suspicion, maybe there are triplets at one point, or a third sibling. Is that the plot twist? Hey, you doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip. Goblin faces keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Well, 
in normal situations, probably trash, but we are in Alaska, so I'm I'm willing to bet someone will still buy this. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Smell smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. A skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. So good. Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with this, these guys? Ooh. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Ingredients for a cake. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Keeping it. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. Ravens? What the heck was it? Oh, I think they explained what that was in the last episode. Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Volcano? Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary Ann the Magpie. Mary Ann the Hoarder. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. What? What are you trashing? Ooh, it's in the cookie jar. That's a nice face. 
I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. Okay. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah. Totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? I guess he has like a corset sort of deal binder thing. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. What do you mean she stole it? My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> You were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Uh, oh. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Found a collectible. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. 
How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Are you gonna keep doing that? <laughs> Maybe. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this guy, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. <laughs> you're right. I was kind of being a brat. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Tea or coffee? Tea! Earl Grey or chai? Your Earl, call. Earl I'm Grey. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind! Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Man, it really did seem like our mom loved us. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Cause I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Oh, 
Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. I got it, I got it. Swap. You done? You go here. No. Hmm, this one. Yep. That's it. The pelican, the fisherman, and the bear. All right. I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yeah, that thing's freaky, dude. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm oh my god, that's oh, straight nightmare yeah. fuel. Go back to the forest. God, go away. I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison, wait, it felt way too real. It was- Us, pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great, hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good, yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. No, that was your what? mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. I think we saw the rusty uh, card. Thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Damn, Allison, those jeans are so tight. How you getting damn jeans? He's a pretty nice dude. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. 
Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. All right. Let's take a look. Look at what? The yeah, whole thing needs to be replaced. Nah. Just need to sand that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but... <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old war. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until, <laughs> until I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. Fifteen amp fuses for the garage, amps total up to 120 for the house. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. So no shit. 30s? It's covered in rust. Yeah, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. Oh, I see. Hmm. <laughs> sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? No. Nope. Really? So I can put a 20 in here. There we go. Good to go. Mm, seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um, 
Maybe I should not have done it to make him feel important. Bye. What was that about? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked- Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Preta rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. You wish. It scares off predators and rats. Ugh, lovely. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Why didn't that option disappear? Why do I feel like there's something else there that I need to find? Should maybe check on Tyler? Oh wait, oh. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, that's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. It's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. 
You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? This one. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Uh... It's... it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Don't feed the bears.
Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Hey, we're out here. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and... You know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Town looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Feeling this? Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Why did we come out here? Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island, but way colder. God, 
I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on, you're a great artist too. I'm nowhere near this level. You need to stop selling yourself short. Where are we going? Hey, look what I found. The OA. Uh -huh. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Character swap. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Tyler! You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. Uh, right. Apparently Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we said outside goes double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle you said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? You That's optimistic. That it feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Nice haircut, Dr. Torres, though. You said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too, then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. So I got your note. I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. I got so wrapped up with Tyler coming that it totally slipped my mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I figured out the password to this computer, too. 
by right. figure it out, I mean Please I looked it up. states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at 9. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. Tyler, I'm basically you ready? always on call. Uh, yeah, of course. But listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24 hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler? Hey, he uh, speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man. They were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from, and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Could you go through the full details of your morning routine, Doctor Taylor? All right. Of course. You ready? I was waiting I for them up. to finish. Good morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Doctor Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Thing is, you didn't tell us everything. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of you got keys, right? I woke up at five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Outside, dude. Could outside. You go full details of your morning, Dr. Torres. Of course. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Isabella's father was coming over to okay. wake her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at 6. I made breakfast. And when we were eating, I realized... You had now? The night before. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her 
Uh, yeah. Gotta get going. Later. Probably. Yeah, yeah. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Was it able to spot that from the inside? Interesting. Oh, pull the fire alarm. It's easy. I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. There's got to be another option. Probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Turning the lights off. How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. Who would be breaking into a police station? Well, let's try it. Um, Greg's. I think someone's trying to climb over the station fence. Hmm. Must be the Herald kid again. Huh? Yeah, Jackson Herald's kid. He climbs over the fence because he doesn't, and I quote, feel like going round the block. Ah, right. Tyler. I think it's gotta be the paperwork. I think they're just gonna look at us stupid if we turn off the light switch, but I think it'll really piss them off if we knock over all the paper. Policemen hate paperwork. They hate doing it twice. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. I was already there. <sighs> this winter air. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. Here, open the door. You took control of your destiny. Own it. Uh, 
How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Damn, that's cold, dude. You can't do that shit. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Like, did you just like, were you just expecting that you were living there for free? <laughs> what? Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Oh, don't worry, it will be our business eventually. Oh, personnel files. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Hey, one of our trinkets. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. You can't hire a convict. Oh. He might work. Interesting. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Emails, emails, dude. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computers are basically information pinatas. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Is that everything? One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. We got the reference number. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Let's put the Vekis next to... Can you not... R six eight six five three. R six eight six five three.
Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Well, it's first off, it's gotta be the weathered numbers. Um. Oh my God. Six zero. How did that tune go again? Dum Four da one. Dee do. Six. Zero, four, one. Yes. Ah, uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? I wonder if we take because too much time. If anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. Look it up. Look it up. She says. Okay. If uh, if we take too long, would we time out? R six. No. Aha. Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. What's well, with the redactions? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Okay. All right, read the document. Hmm. References 05R62766. R62766. R62766. Where are you? I 
have her autopsy report. Okay. She... God. What is it? She drowned. The stab wound was non-fatal. What? What the hell? References zero five zero one C O M E B R zero five zero one. There. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne to child services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. That's what they're arguing about. They must have witnessed shit. something. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Tell him I'm using the bathroom. Here. Thank you. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Pru, how worried should we be? Mm. I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. DUI complaint to twenty fourteen. Okay, I need to check out two thousand fourteen two zero three four one one. Not this one either. Okay, here it is. Huh. Nothing helpful. I don't have time to read all these.
There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Got something. Here. Neglect her, that's what I want. There was something about complaints, right? Go. Look for that. Got something. Here. Okay. There was something oh about complaints, God. right? Go. Look for that. 2005-210. References. 2005-210-195. Here we go. Here we go. Verbal and physical threat. There was something about complaints, right? Look for that. Got something. Here. Okay. That was the other I need box. To check out. Two thousand five two zero one. There. Wait. What the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. Need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on, and consider yourselves lucky, your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. It 
Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm... I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? That's bullshit. We saw those townie complaints against Mary Ann Tyler. It wasn't just Tessa's word. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. Um, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Please don't tell me this is a decision. Oh my god. No! I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. That's the more realistic choice. There's no way you just fold over like that. the computer now you two on your way out yeah we've got stuff to do you ready allison sure whatever well don't be a stranger tyler sure see you around see you later allison what you feel like shit how can you tell because i feel like shit What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. 
Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, this game's so real. Jesus. Oh, here we go. Where is everybody? Tess has got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Should be in her office, no? Hey man, when the Lord opens that kind of door, you walk right through. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Try me. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so... It's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. All right. Talk to Tama boy. Enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey. I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you too. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? 
Well, now, I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Man, he even talks like a politician already. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. Something See you later. got him spooked. Look at the size of that cell phone. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Nope. <laughs> Why not? What? I came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing, just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> Jesus joke. Uh... Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. Where'd he go? Oh. That's the ugliest fish ever. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and, uh. Tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Hold on. Let me count this.
It's hard. Counting is hard. Eight plus six. Like 12 cans? What do you mean, like 12 cans? In the game of inventory, be accurate or be obsolete? Damn it. Well, then, I guess it's 14. Look, I'll let that one slide just because it's you. Let's say you do on the next one. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Is that bleach? Six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? <laughs> the proportions are way off. I wish my arms were that big. Uh, self-deprecating much? Your arms look good to me. Thanks. I've been trying to hit the gym more, but weightlifting is the worst. Uh, amen. You should give dancing a try. Best workout there is, and well, there's always someone out there who needs a partner. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Why did I feel like he was hitting on me? All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Huh, you're too kind. Bible study poster. Oh. Oh my god, those things are hideous. One, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got about eight left in that box? Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ow! Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh. Wow. A to shoot? Are you kidding me? What's... Who uses A to shoot? Ha! Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Boom. Did you block One that? more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Yeah, he's definitely hitting on me. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Oh, no, you're not. Damn, overshot it. Wow. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? 
Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul, then. Pop up. Damn, overshot it. Boom. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Ooh. Is that the mangy muskrat? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Man, this guy is coming on heavy, dude. He is not shy. for what he likes. I respect that. I respect it. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. I was really close to my Uncle William until he passed. He's the one whose grave I want to visit. Oh, yeah. Of course. And... I'm done. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet, and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is, but out here, just surviving is a form of protest. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. Alright. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? 
thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. Uh, thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean it. I'm glad Allison has you back. You're going to be a positive influence for her. I know it. We are not going to let her die a slow death in QuickBooks. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Shut down. <laughs> uh, thank you for that, but I think you might be looking for something I'm not right now. Oh, oh, shit, did I make this awkward? Just destroyed no, no, him. No, you didn't. Don't worry. I'm just all over the place right now. Of course. Yeah, I get it. So sorry about that. It's really fine. I, I appreciate the compliment, though. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Oh dear. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. What does that even mean? <laughs> can't put the Tessa wind should be at her parents' it. grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Big crooked so, tree. So, do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom? Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. 
I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. I'm telling you, there's gonna be a third sibling oh, somewhere. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Guess again. No dice. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Ooh, a bald Hello, eagle. Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. He has like seriously crazy eyes. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Do we really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Come gather, young children. A tight time we learn. So, a hero named Homer. Are you a name Burns? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. Your old news, lady. You wound me. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bowl, goes double for food. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. Fortune favors the bowl, goes double for food. Talk to you later. 
You bet. Ooh, the snow on the jacket. Those subtle details. So, how are you, um, holding up? The sooner this is all over, the better. But so far, it seems like everyone in town's got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going! Allison, come back! Well, maybe a few steps. Yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be... But I'm... Gonna come... Back soon, alright? Promise. See you every week. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that. You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Did you guys hear that? What was that? I'm assuming that lady's at our mom's grave. This, this is it. She's got to be here somewhere. Still not the one. Not this one. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Tessa? Kids. 
I, uh, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Oh, that scowl. The stare down. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? She went about it the wrong way, but her heart was in the right place. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. I 
That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. I'm waiting for the cliffhanger. What's gonna be the cliffhanger? Oh. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next... He better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. I don't so know I about guess we that. know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Here we go, the cliffhanger. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey. Whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Oh my god! Looked like a girl. Tyler, are you all right? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. There, 
was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. Did he really have to smash everything? Really turned this place upside down. He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Huh. At least you were spared. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Valuable stuff's missing. I guess we know how he made the hole. I'm so curious what's underneath here. Open it! Pandora's he box. He went looking under the rug? Step back. I'll be fine. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Could it all just because of an affair? Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Wait. Wait, what? Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Oh, it's the image in the book. It's this one. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Oh, the numbers aren't in the story, it's in the illustration. 130. That did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Fuck. That's rough. This... this guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. Yikes.
Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. So, there, Rock. there's that. That's rough. Okay. This, this guy tried to push Mary in to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Come together for me. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. I don't know what happened. The Mad Hunter! Wait. There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I saw... That I actually see. The Mad Hunter. What? No. That. That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe. Hold on, do you feel that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. He really didn't want us to figure out who he was. Well, he's been avoiding us for 20 years, so. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Oh, come on. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How, how... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. 
Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, right? Don't think about anything else. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Oh, she's about to have a freak out. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only going to get worse. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Who is it? There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? must know well i can find out in a couple hours because i actually have the next episode which i'm going to play probably immediately but i can't post it right away i will be able to post it in a couple days because these episodes are kind of hot and heavy let's just look at these decisions though I did not forgive Eddie.
well, this is pre-launch, so the decision pool isn't very big. Is there a preview? There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for chapter two of Tell Me Why. Full episode. Really left on a pretty big cliffhanger. But luckily, like I said, we don't have to wait too long for chapter three. It's coming out very soon to a sub box near you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the long episode. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up or greatly appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. As always, have a fantastic day.